it's Michael, isn't it? Todd found him this afternoon. Found him? By the site office. He called an ambulance. Looks like it was a heart attack. The second letter of my password is T. You say the fourth? The fourth? The fourth is W. Yeah. Well, what you can do for me today is tell me how much money is in the account. Uh, no, 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 no. There must be some mistake. This is a business account. And this morning it was considerably more than that. Has there been a withdrawal this afternoon? How much? I have a picture of him on a bedroom wall. Two of them, in fact. Did you say you wanted cream? Milk. Milk, right. When have I ever asked for cream? Brian? What was he doing there? That's what I'd like. We don't know. Dead? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, he didn't last long, did he? You know how they met, don't you? He robbed her. Next news, they're engaged. Well, it takes all sorts, I suppose. She was devoted. Feeling has got something to do with this. What makes you say that? What are you suggesting? He's, he's in shock. I mean, we all are. You heard about the one before him? No. Mm -hmm. David went out with his daughter. Got himself into terrible debt. I have just bought the bargain of the century. <laughs> oh, any news? I'm sorry if I upset you. How dare you? I, I, I'm sure it's a work in progress. I couldn't help but I notice... I don't wish to discuss it. Do you feel anything for her at all? She's not an acquaintance. She is your fiance. <sighs> Kathy enjoys watching television. She displays an ear for music. You're not writing a school report or a reference. That should be a love letter to she whom you prize above all others. I'm assuming you do love her with an all-consuming passion. Oh, I'm not finishing telling you, Hannah. Well, she's come up with some super fantastic ideas, including. <laughs> A horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> Looks like hard work. Yeah, not as hard as living with Pat Phelan. All right, Mum, let's get you upstairs, yeah? Can you not give it a rest today of all days? Why, what's so special about today? You've not heard? I heard what? About Michael. What about him? Todd found him this morning. He died sometime last night. How old was he? 61. Mm, it's no age that, is it? Ah, hi, Roy. Ah, have you got a minute? Yeah, of course. Oh, um, before I forget, can you tell Kathy that I've made some calls about the carriage and the main question is if you want one horse or two? I, I, I'm afraid we shan't be requiring your services any longer. What? I, I've decided I, I can do it on my own, but I would like to thank you for everything you've done so far I, and I'm more than happy to reimburse you for any expenses you've already incurred. Hang on, so you're firing me? Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily phrase it like that. Well, does Cathy know about this? 
Not yet, no. OK, so what's the reason? You don't say much, do you, Daniel? What would you like me to say? Well, we don't know out about you. Likes, dislikes. What's your favourite film? Oh, any kind of chit-chat would be something. I heard from Tim. And he's agreed to take me on on principle, but I've got to apply for my licence online. What's this? <laughs> he wants to be a cabbie. You? Did I have a taxi? Yeah, and I've got to do me a DBS check. Well, that's you finished. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Submariner to cabbie. That's the journey my life's taken me on. Yeah, by way of bigamist and bookie. I'd leave you a tip. See? We're Cuban heels. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm short? Did you hear that, Daniel? He said I'm short. Have you got a girlfriend, Daniel? Not presently. Not presently. I'm sure he charmed the pants off him. All right, leave him alone. Talking to girls? Who is it? Um, Simon. He needs picking up. How'd he get on? Thumbs up, smiley face. Good lad. It's not your fault. Of course it's my fault. We don't know when it happened. Look, Phelan knew that he was there, and the next thing we know, Michael's dead. But I went there. I saw Phelan. There was no sign of Michael. It must have happened later, and maybe Phelan wasn't there. I didn't see any signs of a break-in. No, we're better off staying out of this, Mum. Oh, how can we stay out of it? They all think it was a heart attack. Well, maybe it was. Oh, wake up, Gary! It, you, Michael might have found what he was looking for. Maybe Phelan caught him. No, we're just guessing. No, we're telling the police. I'm going to shout it from the rooftops if I have to. Phelan was involved. Nothing stacks up. I'm going to prove it. Where's my phone? I'm calling the police. Go on, where's my... Get my phone. Get my phone. You never know. You might get to meet him again some other time. Oh, I meet her. Yeah, I'm sure our paths will cross. No need to be like that. All right, what's that? Gemma Winter, for she's a jolly good Samaritan runner-up 2016. What are you having? No, love, I'll get these. Are them shoes hurting? No. Are you sure? I'm fine. Hey, how was Peter Andre? Do not talk to me about that clown. I never want to hear his name again. How I ever kissed his nipples is beyond me. Unfortunately, he had to cancel right at the last minute. It's a miserable doing here tonight. I know, isn't it? Who's died? Michael. Do you like fellas? Is that the problem? Not that it's a problem, but... You're not gay. Because Tracy's right. You keep yourself to yourself. Is that a crime? No. I just want you to know you can tell me anything. We are brothers, after all. Don't forget that. As soon as you say anything round here, it ends up all over that street. It's like a switchboard in that paper shop. You only have to walk in and he's off. Norris. I'm here to spend some time with my dad until he's fully recovered. Understood. So what did she say then? Well, she said she wants me to start walking into school. Good lad. So, how did you get on? Yeah, it was OK. OK. You kissed her goodbye. I didn't know where to look. Hiya. So, who's cooking tea tonight? I made it last night. Oh, well, yeah, it's Peter's turn. I'll cook. Oh, really? So, what are we having, then? Pot noodle followed by sugar puss for dessert? If that's what you like. Oh, by the way, Simon, I had a word with Amy about this daisy chick. Turns out she's really hot. Chasing phone today. What did he say? Nothing much. No, I said I'd call him back. It was like the second that I found Michael, so. Did you tell him? No, I don't want to worry him. Not even spoke to the police or you about it, so. He said he was at a um, beach party or something. What do you think Michael was after? It's not as if we keep any money on the side or for that much or any valuables. I uh, just no idea. That's not answering his phone. Have you spoken to him? No. 
That's thousands of messages. Well, he'll, uh, he'll be home soon. Poor Michael. What on earth was he thinking? Let's check in. Him. Fine, you didn't have to be like that. Is he okay? No, I suppose we should think about getting you somewhere to eat, my love. You must be famished. No, I, I can't think about food. Uh, should we get fish and chips? Yeah, if I give you the money, um, can you go? No, I'll pay. Well, it's all right, Gran. I've got this. No, look, I'll get the fish and chips. I can afford it. I insist. I said it first. Would you please just take the money? He'd gone back to get an electric blanket and he was coming down the stairs when he heard Phelan on the phone and he was talking to Vinny. Um, Vinny's the other bloke who helps run the company. And, um... And he was saying, and I might not have this word for word, but he was saying, it's hard work pretending to like Eileen, but it won't be long before we're in sunny Mexico. And Michael Roswell told you this? We share a mutual loathing. Shared. What do you think he meant? Well, Michael thought that they were ripping people off, you know, like the apartments weren't even going to be built. He wasn't sure, but he knew something wasn't right. And then I heard um, a voicemail on Phelan's phone that backed that up. Like I said, uh, my daughter, she picked his phone up by mistake. What did this voicemail say? It was Vinny. And he was laughing because there was never going to be any interiors in them flats. And, and, well, and then I heard um, another voicemail from Vinny saying that, that, well, Michael, he'd been sniffing around the site, but it was OK because the dogs had seen him off. So is that why you got Mr Feel into your flat, so Michael could go back there? Yeah, I know it was stupid. He's not involved in any of this, by the way. Well, that's not quite true. But anyway, then, um, like I told you, his phone, it went off in my pocket, and that's when he realised. Yeah, so I, uh, I went to the office after that. I feel him was there, but he just played dumb, mm -hmm. and there was, there was no sign of Michael. <laughs> you need to talk to him, you know. Make him tell you everything about them flats. M make him show you the paperwork. M make him tell you how much people have put down when they're going to be built. M you know, make him tell you when the last time that he spoke to Michael Rodwell. Make him take a lie detector. Right, ma ma but no, Gary, I feel like they're not taking us seriously. We're very grateful for all the information. No, do you know what? I am putting my neck on the line here. That man is an animal. And heart attack or no heart attack, I'm telling you now, Pat Phelan is involved. Yeah, I will talk to him. No, please don't let him get away with this. Don't let him palm you off. Michael Rodwell was onto him. He knew that something wasn't right, and now he's paid for it with his life. Mrs. Windass. No! No! I won't be Mrs. Windass like I'm some bitter old hag with an axe to grind. I could tell you a lot more about that Pat Phelan. Much, much more. And I'm telling you now, if you don't do something about this, I'm not going to be responsible for my actions. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. No, thank you. You've got our Ta details. It's OK, Roy. You don't have to stand to attention. And yes, I already know. I wanted us to do it our way. Was it the colour of the cake? Or, or the thought of us having a disco? Or, or the prospect of a horse-drawn carriage? Because, you know, that was just a suggestion. It was everything. It wasn't me. But what if it was me? Was it? I just want it to be right. So do I. That's why I employed a wedding planner. Hmm? 
what's all this? I, I was just doing a, a, a revised guest list and a provisional seating plan. I placed Brian next to Ken and, and Rita with Sally and Tim are still not sure where to place Yasmin. Roy, are you happy now? Yes. Right then, I'm happy too. Pat, is that you? Yes, love. I'm sorry. Um, I've been down to the uh, Cat Rescue Centre. I think some inquiries for you. Everything OK? Have you not listened to your messages? Well, I haven't yet. No, love, because I'd left my phone at the yard. I'm going to get hold of you all afternoon. What's happened? Michael's dead. Michael. Michael, Michael. Gail's Michael. Why? How? This is terrible. Today, what well, last night, Todd found him this afternoon. He was near the site office. Near our site office? What on earth was he doing there? Breaking in. Come again? He was trying to rob us. Why? It's a million dollar question. They haven't got a million dollar answer. Oh, nobody. At least not yet, they haven't, but the police are looking into it. OK, what, what did you say to them? I said that we, we knew him and that he had a criminal record. Exactly. I mean, what? <sighs> what a chance. What did he think he was going to find in there? You know, the world's most precious stapler. A diamond-encrusted pencil sharpener. I mean... I don't think I'm ready to laugh about it just yet. I'm sorry, love, but it does somewhat diminish my sympathy for him, knowing he was going to steal from us. They reckon he had a, a massive heart attack. Yeah, well, probably all the excitement, isn't it? Fancy getting back into that game when you got a dodgy ticker. Hmm. So you didn't, you didn't see him last night? Me? No. i tell you what, though, now you mentioned it last night, I'll tell you who I did see. And you know what? It's funny, cos I thought it was odd at the time. Came to the site office, Gary Windass. What did he want? Like he was... He was looking for Michael. Why? Absolutely no idea. Well, I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. When someone dies in mysterious circumstances, it usually comes out in the wash. It does. Where'd you learn to cook like that, then? Nowhere in particular. Did your mum teach you? I'm self-taught. Trial and error, mostly. Tracy can listen to sandwich. She gets that from her mother. Mm. Students learn to be resourceful. I thought they ate kebabs. I can't afford kebabs. So money was tight, was it? Oh. I'm just making conversation, Daniel. Small talk. I'm practicing for my job as a cabbie. I'm going out. So if that bloke calls round again... Do you want to leave a message for him? I'm going to bed. Will you make me a hot water bottle? I'll bring it up, love. Night, Mum. Night. You knew the truth. Michael is dead. How is that the least of our worries? Okay. And where, where's Vinny? I tried phoning him, but, but the line's dead. Will you just be quiet for a second? This is what I'm trying to tell you. Vinny's gone. Vinny's gone? Gone? Where? I don't know. He's gone. And so has all our money. Hi, Ches. Hiya. You staying for another? No, but enough. Oh, I'm sorry about tonight. Still got my award, though. Mm, nice one. Are you coming with us, Jenny? I suppose I should. Well, night then. Night. Try, love. I knew them shoes were too small. You should have said. How come you didn't know? How come you didn't know? No. Pat, he was your mate. Not my mate, my business partner. And he reeled me in. No, you were in this together. I thought we all were. No, oh, Pat, I don't believe you. You know, another thing, 
You know where he is. Yeah, I do know where he is. He's on his way to Hawaii. He's cleaned us out, Todd. He's taken the lot. Yeah. Then you're going to split the money, aren't you? And do what, Todd? Ride off into the sunset together. He's already gone. On the same day that I find a body on the site. Well, maybe Vinny had something to do with that. I don't know. I'm as much in the dark as you are. Pat. Sorry, love, we're disturbing you. Where's my water bottle? I'll bring it up now. Oh, hurry up. My feet are like blocks of ice. I'll tell you what, Pat. If you're lying to me... I'd be long gone, wouldn't I? But I'm not. I'm here, making a hot water bottle for your mother. He's shafted us, Todd. He's left us holding the baby. What are we going to do? What are we going to tell my brother? What, what are we going to tell my mother, eh? I wish I had an answer. But for now, you're going to have to excuse me. Your mum's feet are like blocks of ice. If you'd like to get creative and immerse yourself in your favourite Weatherfield street, the official Coronation Street colouring book is available now. Yovon sent Adam to face the Bush Tucker Food Factory. Find out how he did and I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here live from Australia next. <laughs>